poppin', everybody? It's your boy, Armand, and we're back with another video. Get in here, get in here, everybody, get in here, because we got to get into some things. So, um, apparently, fans are not happy right now. They're really, really upset with MTV. Yeah, oh, yes, MTV is under fire because, why you ask? Well, Chloe Bailey is set to debut her single solo record, Have Mercy, at this year's VMA Awards. Now, that was the spot that was believed to be for Normani. At least if you're asking Normani fans. They are not happy with the uh, with the fact that Normani will not be performing at this time of this video. Right now, she's not performing at the VMAs. It has not been announced, nor has it been confirmed. However, we do know that Chloe Bailey is going to be performing at the VMA Awards. Um, Normani has been going through a lot. Um, she signed to RCA. Um, but it has not been the smoothest ride for her. Now, I'm hearing two totally different things. I'm hearing her team is there for her, but then the label is not. But then I'm hearing the label is there, but the team is lacking. I'm not really sure what Normani's issue is or what's going on with her, but there's something going on there with the label where, you know, her music is being held up and then it's not even being, um, it's not even accessible on different in different countries on the streaming platform so um this wild side um while it debuted at number 14 featuring cardi b which was great for normani um it still didn't have the i feel like it probably didn't have enough impact as it could have had had it been available on all the streaming platforms um when it was in its peak um now with that being said a lot of people are disappointed and frustrated at mtv because they feel like normani should have been booked to perform this v at this year's VMAs because this would have gave the song more promotion and they feel like she deserves it. Um, and this and this is a look that Normani needed because when she gets on stage, we know that she's a hell of a performer. Um, but my question to those people is, why does she deserve it any more than anyone else? What does she, why does Normani deserve this? I, I feel like I'm at a point and a lot of people may not like this and a lot of people may not like me after this, but I just kind of feel like, um, don't take the moment away from Chloe because Chloe, Chloe has been working really hard um, and she's been very consistent. Normani has not been. Um, but I think it's very funny because I was I was on Clubhouse um, a few days ago and I was chatting with some people over in Clubhouse and some of them had worked with uh, Normani. Some of them are friends with her. I don't know. It was just a, it was a plethora of different people on the stage there. Right. And I had made the comment that um, Normani has missed the mark and Chloe is up next. And the, the chat and the and the and the clubhouse, they all went in on me because they're like, they're, they're, they're not, there's no comparison. There are two different lanes. You can't compare them. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Yes, you can. Because before, I mean, Chloe and Halle had always kind of been around, but Normani was literally slated to be the next Beyonce because of her ability to perform and dance the way that she does. Hence the reason why, in my opinion, Normani has kind of took on the Beyonce aesthetic from uh, sampling her music and just that whole kind of energy when she performed. Now, um, I feel like without her being consistent, with with, the, with there being a lack of consistency and, and and musical artistry, and perhaps the label shelving her at a point or not putting that much money into her, whatever it is, um, other girls have been able to slide through the cracks. Not to mention, Normani does not uh, monopolize her social media. Um, and at this point, and at this day and age, you have to be in the people's faces because everything is so quick. You know, and with Chloe Bailey, on the other hand, her sister went off to be uh, the first black little mermaid out in Europe um, and she's filming. I think they're done filming now. However, during that time, she said and she was giving us quarantine performances every week. She's given us a show, whether it's uh, a booty twerk or whether it's music, um, whether we're watching her grow up like she's trending every week for music and being and, and building a presence. You know what I mean? And so the people now, we wanna see her on a main stage perform. Um, so I don't see why or how people could even see uh, Normani getting this over Chloe. And I feel like they are direct competition. They are direct competitors. Yeah, they may be friends, but it's, you're not, there's not space for two on the, on the VMA stage. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, we need an R&B kind of performer, dancer girl, um, who do we want? Do we want Chloe? Do we want Normani? Who's been the more, most consistent? Who's been, who's put who's been putting out the best content? Chloe has been putting out the best content. And then I'm seeing in the comments, everyone, uh, a lot of people are saying, this is colorism. It's the colorism for me. Uh, it's because Normani's dark skin. That's a crock of BS. 
You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like I'm, I get so tired of that because first, first it was a lot of people had sympathy for Normani because she was the only black girl, dark skin in the group, in the in the Fifth Harmony group. They did her wrong. OK, so we all wanted Normani to win. But is it a genuine want for Normani to win or is it we just want Normani to win because she's black? I mean, is it a sympathy thing or do we think that she's talented? You know, and I don't like when we when it's oh, well, she's black. We want her to win. And, you know, let's celebrate these black girls. But then Chloe's a black girl with natural hair. But when she gets the opportunity now, being black is not good enough. Now she's it's because she's lighter. That's she got the she got the gig. It's like no, this has nothing to do with race. This has nothing to do with color color. None of that. It has everything to do with work ethic, and who's gonna bring, who's gonna draw the viewers. And I'm gonna be honest with you, Chloe is going to draw more of a viewership than Normani. And I get it. You might say, hey, well, Cardi B is on the Normani record. Who cares? Car Cardi B could. Cardi B is on the Lizzo record that just debuted at number four. I mean, if anything, a lit Cardi B is not going to be going to perform Wild Side. She's going to be, if she ends up at the VMA, she's going to go perform with her label mate, Rumors. So the Cardi B is over. You can't use that. And I'm going to be honest with you. Cardi B doesn't even need the VMAs. I mean, she can go there if she wants or she could not. I think Cardi B is at a point where she turns stuff down. Chloe is more, it's going to be more entertaining because it's her debut. It's it's going to be a single. It's going to be her solo record. It's going to be hers only. And we get to see her as a solo artist. We want to see that. We've seen Normani multiple times. Normani has been around for at least five years at this point as a solo artist. We've got what we're going to get from Normani, in my opinion. Normani has missed the mark. Normani has missed the mark. And it's too late now for her fans to be trying to catch her up. You should have been buying her music and streaming her music years ago. I don't even know if Normani even has an album out, a single album. And and I like Normani, but at this point, it's a little too late. It's a little too late. And that's just what it is. It's a little too late. And and I don't think that it has anything to do with her color. I don't think it has anything to do with her race. Because these are two black girls, and I think that Chloe works her behind off. She's been working that whole, all of 2020, she's been working. She's been working 2021. She's been in our faces. We haven't even seen Normani. We knew nothing, but we, we hadn't heard anything from her. So we got to stop relying on sympathy to try to push artists. No, these artists need to be working. These artists need to be utilizing their social media. These artists need to be jumping on, jumping on different things and creating trends and creating moments. I can't tell you how many, how many times have Normani got on, got online and created a moment or, or, you know, did a cover or did a dance or, you know, started something during this whole pandemic. She hasn't. You can see where Chloe has been in the faces of her fans and on social media and, and in the people's faces and being an influencer, being an artist, being a creative. This is her moment and she should do this. She assumed the position and I'm ready to see what she can do. Normani has missed the mark and it is what it is. And I feel like anybody that is trying to take the moment away from Chloe is just being a hater. It's not Normani's time. Um, the song did well, but it might be a little too late. That's just what it is. So I'm here for, uh, the Chloe performance. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not here to see uh, Normani perform. I know how Normani can perform. We've seen it several times. Um, she does. She she performed at the VMAs before. Great performance. Memorable performance. No follow up. We've seen that before. What what is that gonna? What is this performance gonna? If Normani was to perform at the VMAs this year, what would that do? Nothing. She's had the moment before. Give it to somebody else and let's see what they do with it. So I'm here for uh, Chloe Bailey. I don't think it's colorism. I don't think it's racism. I don't think it's any of that weird stuff. I think it's who's going to bring more people. Who's going to create a more interesting moment. And we haven't seen her do it. So let's see it. Who's been in the people's faces. Who's been really working. And I believe that Chloe has been doing the work. And so I don't believe that Normani should be performing. And I feel like the fans, um, it's a little too late for you guys to be such big Normani fans because it doesn't really feel like you really even support Normani that way. This feels like a sympathy thing.
And sympathy doesn't sell, well, clearly, sympathy doesn't book shows. I was going to say sympathy doesn't sell records, but it kind of can to a certain degree. But it doesn't keep you at the top, and it doesn't book you gigs, clearly. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you here for Chloe Bailey? Or do you feel like Normani got snubbed? What do you think? Um, and let's talk about it down below. See you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>